Hi, welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be looking at this thread enabled Eve Thermo Smart Radiator Bowl. we should say is Eve very kindly sent this out to us. This is the fourth generation. We actually purchased the second generation Eve Smart mm -hmm. TRVs yeah. for our home a few years ago. We really like them. They work a treat. For those of you who don't really know what a TRV is, it is a smart valve that you just simply screw onto a radiator. So you've got your radiator, you've got the uh, valvey thing on the side, which normally, for example, the old school yeah. ones or the traditional ones, classic ones, just have the one, two, three, four, five, and you swizzle that to whichever temperature you want. When you want to change that, you can basically just mm. unscrew that. There's no water that comes out. It's really simple, really easy. Anybody can do it, it takes two seconds. And then you just screw on this, which is your new Smart TRV mm -hmm. valve. And then basically that starts to regulate your temperature in your radiator a lot more precisely. So obviously for the one, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. it's kind of a little bit vague as to what is, is three, yeah. what is four. And then typically when you put that on, you know, you walk into a room, you swizzle it to like two, three, four, five, and then you walk out, you forget about it. And you know, they, three days later, you realize, oh my goodness, that radiator has um, been on five for the last three days and I've hardly been in that room. So it's just really not um, economical or efficient. The nice thing about a smart TRV is that you can set it to an absolute precise um, temperature. Yeah. And then you can obviously control that. And you know, can you set times, like uh, schedules yeah, and things? Yeah, completely. So you can have, you've basically got what's called an economy mode, which is basically something that runs at the lowest temperature for that radiator and then you've got a comfort setting which is basically the top end of that and you can set comfort zones for whatever time of the day that you want whenever you want it so we've got the best example in our house is our tv room uh, we always want it to be quite warm in there when we go watch tv so we spike the temperature we pick it up at about 4 30 in the afternoon so by the time we get in there it's nice and warm and then it basically as uh, around 10 o'clock when we typically stop watching tv the room comes back down to the economy temperature. Also, then you have the controls from your phone. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, do it with Eve. It's all Apple enabled. So you can do, we've got Apple phones. Yeah. So if you've got an iPhone, you can just control it through iPhone, almost like a remote control. What I would say is that, especially at the moment where we've got the energy crisis and um, prices are just absolutely escalating at a frightening mm. rate. Everybody this winter in the UK, the hottest topic of conversation is, yeah, how much are you paying for your bills? Are your bills really just getting out of control for your heating, your gas, your electric, all those kind of things? To make sure that your central heating is running efficiently and economically and that you're not wasting precious heat and paying for precious heat to go into rooms that you barely go into is really important um, for us. And I think for that for everyone. a lot of people at the moment. So the first thing I would say about um, Eve products is that we really like the Eve products uh, because they are just really aesthetically pleasing. They are designed so nicely they're really in that kind of apple mold of just being really minimalist, sleek, slick, um, disappear into your home. You know, they don't really stand out. They've got no crazy big logos on them. Um, they're not ugly and they don't just kind of stand out like an eyesore. And with a smart TRV, quite frankly, we've got very kind of basic looking radiators. We don't have anything, you know, slick or fancy or, you know, Victorian. It is just kind of your classic radiator. And they just sit against the radiator really, you just don't even notice them. So as Kirsten mentioned, we were using the second generation Eve Thermos. They work absolutely fantastically well. And the only real reason that we're actually changing them is because the fourth generation's got a lot of cool stuff happening that we'll uh, touch on in a minute. Uh, the biggest drawback with the second generation is that they are Bluetooth only. Uh, so that obviously has its, its cons and its pros. The, the, the big benefit of Bluetooth is that it's very uh, low power consuming so you know they can run for long periods at a time without actually draining the battery and the negative point is that you can't control them from a distance and they're not very responsive so what i mean by that is that if you have ever experienced that or worked with bluetooth devices when you try and change a setting it often takes a few seconds for it to actually kick in and communicate to the device that's all changed now with the fourth generation eve thermo so the really exciting thing about the latest lineup of eve products is that they are all thread enabled thread is going to be something that is going to completely revolutionize smart homes uh, and it basically allows you to create networks for your smart home devices that have a very clever way of actually communicating with one another. So ha has the Bluetooth gone and has the thread fully replaced that? No. Oh. Uh, uh, so, so basically, even though they are thread enabled, you don't have to use the thread network for these devices. Oh, so you still have the Bluetooth option in them? Correct. Okay. So basically, even if for whatever reason your thread network falls apart and th that device falls off it, you can still control that device by going into that room 
and actually controlling it by Bluetooth. So tell us what is Thread and how does it work in very simple layman terms? Because it is quite complicated. It is. It's basically a communication medium for smart home devices. It doesn't replace Wi-Fi. So basically, Wi-Fi, you've got a router that's connected to your incoming uh, internet connection that then you know, sends the signal out to all of your devices that are connecting to it via Wi-Fi. If you walk further away from the actual router itself, you lose your Wi-Fi connection. Or you've got lots of thick walls that can interrupt your Wi-Fi connection. Uh -huh. yeah. it, it basically affects that. Okay. The difference with us is that you now have this thread network that gets created. And the central point of that is either an Apple 4K TV or HomePod Mini. So basically, for lack of a better term, that actually acts as your initial hub that basically brings your whole thread uh, network to life. It's quite clever because the more actual thread enabled devices that you dot around your house, the stronger that thread network becomes. Unlike Wi-Fi, where you, the more devices you add to it, it starts to become a bit of a burden on that Wi-Fi network and they can actually slow down. Thread is the complete opposite of that. The more devices you add, the better and more robust that actual network connection becomes. What I really like about it is that it's, it's self-healing. Uh, and what that means is that, you know, if you have got uh, these devices dotted all around your house and for whatever reason one goes down, they will find a different way of actually bridging that communication. So I've obviously- Without you even knowing it. Without you knowing it. So, you know, there's, wow, a, whole crazy. Vo there's a whole new vocabulary to uh, the, the thread network. You know, you've got endpoints, you've got leaders, you've got border routers. Okay. It's something you don't really have to concern yourself about too much because- Unless you, you're really geeky and want to get into it. But and, if you just want to just yeah. not really know too much about it, mm -hmm. you basically just want to know that it's really clever. It really looks after itself more than Bluetooth or Wi-Fi mm -hmm. has done up until this point. Completely. And it, it will, it's just going to be hopefully more robust and reliable. It's, it's so much more robust. I mean, we started experimenting, you know, from the get go. So I, I try to just roll this out really slowly just to see what limitations it's got because we have got a relatively large house so you know from one end of the house to the other is about 30 meters and we've got a lot of brick walls in between thick ones <laughs> in some places double and there's some of those walls are actually insulated in the middle too so from our wi-fi perspective we had all kinds of headaches and trying to get around that so i was really intrigued to see how this thread network could actually evolve so once we set up our home pod uh, we then put in um, an eve energy so basically the difference between an eve energy smart plug and the actual TRV is that this is connected into your power, into your mains all the time. So it's almost acting like as a, as a slightly stronger booster, if you like. It's not really a booster, but you know okay. you can you can liken it to that. Okay. Uh, so that's basically allowing it's giving you extra bounce points as you move uh, through the house. Our hallway is our biggest headache when it comes to Wi-Fi. So basically, I put in a smart plug in the hallway. I put a smart plug in our TV room, and I put a smart plug on this side. Uh, and basically, that initially struggled to get going but the more trvs we started to install the stronger that thread network actually did become so if you're enjoying this video please subscribe ring the bell and give us a thumbs up we're also going to be reviewing the eve aqua and the eve weather so that's going to be coming soon the other really exciting thing about thread is that this is going to act as a pillar for a new technology that's going to come out called matter now matter is going to be another huge game changer in that at the moment uh, Eve are very much an Apple company, okay. uh, but we have got, uh, even though they are uh, still on the iOS uh, backbone, you know, we have got other devices, but they can't communicate to one another because they're not part of the same brand. They don't run on the same app. They might not even run on HomeKit. What Matter is going to do is it's going to allow devices from different manufacturers to talk to one another. So at the moment, a smart TRV can't call for heat. Even though it's cold, it's opening and closing the valve, but it's not actually demanding that heat to be generated by your air source heat pump or boiler. Now, you will have a, a possibility if you've got a smart thermostat located somewhere else in the house that's not from the same brand, your smart TRV is gonna open and close. It's cold, it, it needs heat. It'll be able to communicate via the thread network to that smart thermostat to then call for heat it will then give that instruction to your boiler or your air source heat pump and the heat will start coming through the house. So basically, hopefully matter will become, become the language that these different devices from different brands can speak to each other in. At the moment, if you've got, for example, a heat miser, a thermostat on your wall and you've got an Eve smart TRV on your radiator, the purpose of that smart TRV is really basically to cap off the temperature max in that radiator. So for example, you know, if you want to set it to 21 degrees, it's going to make sure that radiator doesn't just continuously get hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. It's going to stop it at 
21 and turn the valve off and say, yep, I'm at 21, thank you very much. But it can't at the moment say, oh, I've dropped to 15 degrees, I need more hot water to me, because it can't talk, it can't tell that to anybody, it can't speak to anybody else to say, can you, you know, send me that hot water? So at the moment it can't speak to, for example, if your thermostat's controlling that, it can't speak to your thermostat to do that to give that command. Hopefully with Matter, it's now gonna be the language mm -hmm. where all these different brands from different manufacturers can use to be able to communicate. So then that smart CRV will, for example, drop to like you know, 15, 16 degrees, and it will suddenly send a message to the heat miser saying, hi, I really need some hot water. And then your heat miser will basically, your thermostat will be able to talk to your boiler, and hopefully everything starts to become smarter and more efficient. And Eve have really come to the part with regards to thread. Uh, I think that a lot of companies have kind of come up with one product. Uh, to my count, Eve now have five products out in the market that are thread enabled. Wow. Uh, we've installed quite a few now throughout the property. And I've got to say that our thread network is looking more and more impressive. Uh, and what I really like about it is that we've got a couple of outdoor products now that I've installed. Uh, and initially, again, there was a bit of a hiccup with regards to the thread. They weren't always getting picked up. But now for the last 24 hours, that thread network has almost evolved to a point where we've got communication everywhere. And you know we've probably got one or two more products that we're gonna be putting in, uh, certainly uh, upstairs, kind of closer to windows. I think that thread network's gonna get even stronger. It sounds really intelligent. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like Bluetooth, I kind of felt like it's, it was just a signal, mm -hmm. um, almost like a radio signal. It kind of just sent out a signal and, if, and you had to try and kind of catch that signal. Yeah. You're like fishing, like fly fishing for that signal all the time. And you know, if you, the more you missed it, the more frustrated you mm -hmm. got with the thread. It just sounds so intel intelligent. Mm -hmm. and, and it completely keeps changing. So, you know, there is a, a leader on, on this network at all times and you would just assume that it will be the HomePod Mini. Uh, but it's not, you know, to, yesterday it was, today when I actually checked, it was the smart plug we put in the hallway. So it's dynamic, that's why I said, you know, there are a lot of terms and there's a lot of stuff that might seem quite daunting, but really the way that it's actually being implemented, it just works. I mean, I haven't fiddled, wow. you can't actually change any of the settings, you can't actually tell it to do anything. It's just constantly evolving and doing its own thing. So to preserve energy on the actual networks, I'm going to actually be interested to see whether these Eve thermos actually last longer battery-wise than, than the second generation. The second generation, the battery life lasted about nine to 10 months. It'll be interesting to see if this is a bit longer. And that's just two AA batteries. Two it's, not, it's not complicated, it's not expensive, not it's just pretty standard mm -hmm. stuff. So for two AA batteries to last nine or 10 months, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So if we can get even longer out of it, then that's re really fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason that, or the way that it actually does preserve battery life is that they go to sleep, and wake up every 5,000 milliseconds, every five seconds it wakes up, sees, you know, is there any information that I need to, to move on? If there's nothing, it goes back to sleep for five seconds. So it's basically, you know, wow. sleeping, waking, sleeping, waking the whole time. Obviously, if it's sending information, it's gonna be uh, awake to actually push that. that, or if you're trying to communicate with it, it's gonna stay awake. But wow. as soon as it goes, it goes into a state of dormancy, and it just, you know, chills out, wakes up, chills up, wakes up, and, <laughs> and so it just keeps running. So, so it's really clever, and I think that yeah. uh, this is going to be, in my opinion, a huge game changer for smart devices inside uh, homes. Yeah, I have to say, Eve have been really impressive as a company. They're really dynamic. They're really on like the forefront. They're, they really are for me. They push the limits. Yeah, they really are for me personally. I can really do consider them. I consider Apple up there, and then I just consider Eve right next to them. Mm -hmm. um, they really are constantly um, really trying to make products more efficient, better, slicker, faster, more reliable. And that, you know, ultimately that's what you want from your home. You mm -hmm. want your home to be as efficient as possible. Um, and I think that they're really great. I definitely think that if, for example, we've got friends who are just doing a self-build at the moment and they're starting from yeah. scratch. We've got other friends who are doing renovations and um, in really old properties. And when you're at that point where you're really looking at doing an overhaul of your whole internal system, um, I would definitely recommend looking at Eve um, just across the board definitely. and seeing what you can install. Um, or otherwise, just start small, start like we did, you know, just um, start with a few radiators and build on that, you know, as, as and when you can afford it. Um, I definitely think it's been one of the better investments that we've made mm -hmm. in our property. I think they're really reliable and I definitely feel like they've made the right difference to us. The products are also really well made uh, and what I particularly like about them is yeah. the ease of use. Uh, actually installing them. Uh, so if, you, if you've got an existing TRV that you just want to replace and put one in, I would probably say it's going to take you no more than two minutes to actually fit it on and actually install that uh, TRV onto your EVE app. Yeah. Uh, that will automatically move over onto your home kits. It's, it's all integrated and, and, and moves around. 
And what I also really liked about it is that we've obviously had our TLVs for the last three years and I was able to migrate our data, uh, which was really awesome. So, you know, we didn't lose that by putting in a new TLV. That took a bit longer. It probably took about maybe three or four minutes to copy that data from the old TLV to the new one. But what's really great about that is that we've retained our data. We've still got it so we can see the historical uh, kind of temperatures uh, in those particular rooms. Not only were we able to move the actual data across, but it also moved our schedules over. So I didn't have to sit and do all of those from scratch again. Mm -hmm. uh, so, nice. you know, the actual integration and migration of stuff was actually really easy to do too. So we would definitely recommend the Eve Thermo, the fourth generation on the thread. It is absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's working really well. It's been very Amazing. impressive. If you're in that second hand market and you're looking for something that's a little bit um, lower budget and you're going into like, for example, eBay, I would still recommend looking at the Eve, the second generation. Or third Thermo. generation. They're also really good products and they're really, they do a really good job. Um, but yeah, the thread is really, really exciting. So if you are looking for a new one, I would really recommend the fourth generation checking it out. I think that it's going to be, as you said, the future of smart Definitely. home tech. I hope that you have found this video useful and interesting. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye.